Hello guys and welcome back. I'm JP and in today's video I wanted to show you a user interface which is for Windows 10. It's called uh, LCARS user interface that is originally known from the series Star Trek. So what does LCARS mean? These letters LCARS means Library Computer Access and Retrieval System. So I'm gonna... I forgot where, where I got this, but um, I downloaded it before and I really find it cool. So let's uh, start to view this. So as you can see, this is the main screen. It's called Main Computer Access Terminal. United Federation of Planets, very nice. Authorized personnel only, so that's gonna be me. I'm authorized to access this, so we got these three buttons down here. We got the apps, the ship systems, and a simulator. So we just start from the apps. It has very nice animation, just like, just like it's supposed to be futuristic. As you can see here, it has the registration USS Enterprise NCC 171D. And over here, what we can, what can we do with this user interface? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. First of all, um, I can sh uh, it displays the date and also the current time. We got also the um, one uh, layer of um, buttons here, and actually we got two pages. So we just uh, start first with the home. So the home button is nothing more than the screen that you see right now. Then we have a clock. As you can see, it's 7:35 p.m. You can um, you can also see the date. You can even adjust how you want the time format to be. So you like it to be a 12-hour format. That's what I have right now. Or you can make it 24 hours format. So it will change to 1900 hours and 35 minutes. We can also so that's the, that was the clock. We can also have a timer. So with a timer, what can you do? Of course, you start the timer, you stop the timer. We set it and it goes back to zero. Then we have uh, a, a something cool, it's called destruction or destruct timer. So what can you do with this? Well, you can, um, well, you don't destroy your computer with this, but it's uh, for just for animation purpose. Let's say we set we set a, a self-destruct sequence for 10 seconds. There we go. Uh, I can choose to have it silent. Well, in silent, um, it just counts the timer and nothing happens. Uh, I can choose whether it's going to be a red alert. R red alert, so everything is going to be red and, and flashing. So we just uh, we just try this. I keep this untrue. Let's initiate it, and it will look like this. Auto destruct sequence has been initiated. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Boom, and we are dead. <laughs> okay, never mind. So we we cancel this again. The timer goes back to zero. So that's all for the timer. Now we check our atmosphere. Very nice, we can see our weather right now today. We can even scan other places. Let's go to Manila. See if they got a result over there. Yes, they they do. Okay. Then we can even check so that this is the current weather right now. We can even have a five-day forecast. As you can see, rain, 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 and rain. So nothing nice to look at settings we can even um, adjust how we want the units to show so right now I am using Celsius we can use Fahrenheit or Kelvin uh, our display units um, we got either Imperial or metric that's all for the settings let's go to lock editor well, the lock editor I don't do really a lot, but I, I honestly I haven't used this, so we just skip this media player. Media player is also cool, so with this media player, 
you can actually open any file any supported file so everything that can be chosen here mp3 wma wavn so on so if you let's let's test it um what should we use let's try any um conquest we open this file and we stop it because we don't want to get any trouble with the with the with any copyright so so basically basically you can even upload a entire playlist and play it so let's return what else we got we got a calculator so the same as any other calculator uh, let's just clear this let's just make one plus oh what's this minus ah, okay we we go here one okay i'm confused let's try this again one plus two equals ah nice so it 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 does it does make some sounds when you get an answer and then here you got all these other functions i don't know not really sure what they all do settings radians degrees okay never used this before okay file manager what do we have in the file manager yes you could uh upload i oh, know not upload you, you could um access files that are stored in a folder so Let's say you you targeted one main folder which has a subfolder, image files, uh, or music files. So everything gets displayed here in this um, file manager. So this is the one that I that I used this main folder just to test it out. Okay, what what else do we got? Yeah, now we will go to the settings. So in the settings, these are the general settings. Uh, use star date. Do I need this? No, actually, let's see what happens. As you can see, the date down here has changed to some Star Trek star date uh, type. If we disable it, it will show our current date. Okay, I'm not sure if that has been converted somehow, if that is really the true date, like it's in Star Trek. Never mind. Clock, as just as before, 12 or 24 hours. Extra animation, yes, of course, I want this because it looks very nice if, um, if it um, changes from one um, menu to another. So it looks very cool. Show other alert controls. Yes, these are, if I disable it, probably this is the one down here that disappears, but I want it to show. So much for the settings, let's go, let's check the next page. Image viewer. So in image viewer, we can just view any kind of image, so I'm gonna choose this image, and there you have it. You could even load the entire folders and scroll to the next image if you want. Okay, let's return. It's so high tech. I mean, it looks really high tech, especially with with this animation. I believe there's a um, there's a version for tablets, so you just touch it with your fingers, so it feels really like you have a Elkar's control terminal from Star Trek. Okay, that's the next one is the holocam. So the holocam doesn't work right now because I'm now viewing. I mean the camera is now being used by my recorder. So, but anyway, if you if your if uh, your camera is not used by any other program, then it should it should show up in the holocam. So these buttons here, they're used for nothing, they're just on standby. Probably, uh, maybe if there's a future update, they're going to 
add some some new features to it i don't know maybe email email or 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 youtube or internet browser that would be a cool feature ebook reader ebook reader you could f uh, you could load files that come into the former e pub i don't know what that means publish and you can even skip chapters the options font colors ah okay so you could even make adjustment here as well okay that's cool and i think that that's it for the first uh, for the first and second page now we are now back here so i wanted to continue to look into the ship system wait a minute wait, wait a minute we need to go back i think i forgot uh, the settings um so it was the general settings where i have been before actually we need to check the registry that's the registry actually where i was able to type this one actually i could even put my own name here it was as jp or something like that sounds yes actually i wanted to show you the sound well this is the main the main control for the sound it's either sound on or sound off here we have a bridge sound effect I kept it off but we can check it out if it's on that's how it sounds like okay then we have the alert sound so what kind of alert sound are we using right now I have chosen the the Voyager alert sound so you can test this out so in order to test how it sounds like uh, during an alert, alert so I, all I need to do is press press red and I think it's gonna fire up the alert that's how it sounds like we cancel it we change to Voyager Okay, and generation, I, 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 I don't know if that is generation or next generation, sounds like this, but I think for me, I like the, the Voyager sound effect, let's go back here, so what else do we have, themes, I have used, I think the primary, we can change to ancillary, so it looks like it has more pink to it, Nemesis is like all blue and then when we go back to secondary I'm not sure what that means maybe it's a subsystem database has reddish orange color into it but I think I, I really like the primary one tiles ah okay I think these are the tiles that what do you want to pin this no I don't you could actually pin a shortcut to your to your taskbar so like it says before clock so if I would click on it the, the clock will open immediately about ah yes there we there there it is so that's where it came from so yeah, let's just um, get out from this menu and we check this the ship system which is actually a nice feature but, okay, this is home uh, system allocation yeah you know it, it has all these moving animations and it looks like you are in a ship yeah. it would be nice to if you have um, a guest at your home you just let, let this let these animations run and they would say oh wow what is this uh, where you where you got this or oh, what kind of computer is this so you could just uh, fool them around so warp core that's the warp core i think this looks also pretty cool got all these moving numbers here well you can't click any of these 
Yes, um, actually if you if you press eject it will start to do some I don't know emergency whatever you call this and then it will do this animation let's, let's test it out Warp core ejection in 10 seconds okay I'm not sure if it's really going to happen in 10 seconds oh yes it does so the animation color has changed also so we can even shut down the system no I think it's not because it's the warp core is out to integrate. I'm not sure if it's in, but never mind about this. Let's. Ah, okay. Now it's back in. We can even shut it down, I think. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's change to this menu. What, what does it do? Yeah, it's like you got uh, you got some flight control stuff here. You can even accelerate. Weapon system that you can play around with, transport, shields, randomize. Okay, so let's get out. Uh, what else do we got? Configure. What do I want to configure? Star date. I think this is the same menu that we have seen before in the settings menu from the first first page and then we got the simulator actually I have tried it many times I don't know what I uh, what to do here it's even I read the instruction but I, I just don't get it so I don't wanna I don't wanna show it this right now but anyway that was it for this L cars user interface library computer access and retrieval system interface so what do you let me know what you guys think if you also want to try this out i think i can um, i'm gonna post the link in the description down below so if you enjoyed that video give me a thumbs up and you you may subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this uh, cool stuff for your desktop computer. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.